the NMR of pentanoic acid. Let's start by giving ourselves the x-axis of 0 to, I don't know, like 12. Halfway point is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Great. This chemical itself has a CH3 group, a CH2, 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 and then a carbon with a double bonded oxygen and an OH group. This gives us five different types of hydrogens. These hydrogens are all chemically equivalent. These hydrogens are chemically equivalent. So are these two. These are chemically equivalent. And then this hydrogen is all alone at the end. That's five different types. I've got five different colors to draw the peaks for you. First of all, the carboxylic acid hydrogen is going to be very far upfield. Is this upfield? No, this is downfield. My mistake. So I'm going to put a peak there and just leave it. It is so isolated from the other carbons, it is not split. It will integrate to about to one on a ratio level. And it's that far down simply because it's a COOH group. Cool? Great. Next, the hydrogens that are next closest to the oxygens are going to be the ones that are next furthest downfield. So in a low res NMR, you might end up with a peak right about here for those blue hydrogens. It will have to integrate to two because there are two of them. Next, we would have the green ones. There are two of them as well. I'll just show that they integrate to two. Next, we have the orange ones. They are next furthest away from the oxygens, from the electronegative atoms. And lastly, we have the red ones. This one's going to be slightly larger because it integrates to three, because there are three of them. So a NMR with low resolution is only going to detect five peaks, one for each chemically equivalent form of hydrogen, you might get a peak at zero if you've included tetramethylsilane, because that's how we know where zero ppm is. But you're probably here for the splitting pattern. The splitting pattern is what you get when you account for the adjacent hydrogens to each one. Now, this hydrogen, again, is isolated. It will not be split. It's just going to be a straight-up singlet, we call it no matter how high of a resolution your instrument has. The red hydrogens are at the end, so they are only adjacent to the hydrogens on the next carbon. Those three hydrogens are adjacent to two other hydrogens, so this peak splits twice to become a triplet. So I'm gonna redraw this, this wide red peak as a one, two, one ratio. Cool, now that's a triplet. That These three peaks combined will still integrate to three total. Now, the orange one, the hydrogen that I've denoted with orange, there are two of them, but they are adjacent to three hydrogens on this side and two extra hydrogens on this side. That's five. If you're assuming that they adjacent, that the adjacent hydrogens split the same amount for each, that would give you a sextet or six, like a ratio of six. In, instead of one large peak in low res, you're gonna end up with one, two, three, four, five, six. Oof, that's a lot of splitting. The green peak is adjacent to two and two or four other hydrogens. It will split into a quintet. Is it a quintet for five? One, two, three, four, five. And lastly, the blue ones are not adjacent to anything over here. The electronegative atoms are a bit of a buffer that isolate it. It's only adjacent to two others, so it splits into a triplet. One, two, and one. Nice. You know what? Let's make that. There we go. I like it. I'm going to give my low, no, high res NMR baseline here. 
give myself the TMS. There you go. This one integrates to two, but is a triplet. This one integrates to two, but because it was split four times, it becomes a quintet. This one was split five times, becomes a sextet. This one was split twice, became a triplet as well. I just want to point out that in a real NMR, some of these are going to start to blend together. In fact, I have a picture of the actual NMR here, and it ends up being one big wide thing. Instead of five and six, they just all add up into a big mess that is approximately the same as all 11. Cool? Cool. Hope that helps you. Best of luck.